Hey, it's Helder here, and today I want to talk to you about these new click belts that I picked up. I have been uh, seeing them advertised all over the internet for the uh, past year. Uh, definitely piqued my curiosity, but uh, recently I have actually had a couple of my Warrior Zero Project members uh, bring these up to my attention. They were wondering if they should add these uh, to their gear because uh, they were in the market for a tactical slash uh, duty belt, and I figured I would uh, give them a review since I was in the market for a couple new tactical belts myself. So uh, let's get into the findings. I ended up picking up two belts. Uh, both of them are tactical duty belts, both uh, an inch and three quarters, and they are also three ply. So there's actually three layers here on uh, both of these belts, adding to the rigidity. And of course, it's exactly what I was looking for because other belts that I've used in the past and currently use uh, tend to sag uh, especially when you're uh, bearing all of that weight uh, from your kit. And even when I'm out in the field, even on a recreational level where I'm carrying around my M9 bayonet and multi-tool, so on and so forth, they always have a tendency to sag. And uh, by opting for the uh, three-ply, that has certainly uh, addressed the issues that I had in the past. Uh, now, this buckle itself is made out of uh, 7075 aluminum. It is uh, designed and manufactured in Austria. And it's basically made out of the same aluminum or material that uh, high-end jets and aircrafts are made out of. So that adds to it being uh, super durable. And of course it is quick release, uh, which is uh, definitely an important feature uh, for those of us that want to use it as a duty belt. I wanted to uh, demo a bit more of the strength uh, that these uh, click belts offer. And within uh, my uh, Warrior Zero project, we do a lot of kettlebell work. And I figured what better than to put this through the test than to use a 70 pound uh, kettlebell and put it through some what we call rope swings or towel swings, but instead we're using this click belt. And as you could tell by my little experiment that uh, the click belt did pass with flying colors, giving me a hell of a lot more confidence in it uh, for uh, future applications. As I was actually going through the checkout process, I noticed that uh, click belts actually offer dog collars uh, with the same type of uh, cobra buckle setup. And uh, to be honest with you, this is certainly the strongest dog collar that I've ever used, and especially with my 80 pound pit bull, it uh, certainly fits the bill. And on top of it, it looks great. So I was definitely happy with this purchase and just something else you might wanna look into if you do have a uh, furry companion that's out there in the field with you. Many times when I am out there on the trail, I do end up uh, fixing my dog's leash to my tactical belts. I uh, just feel that it gives me uh, more ease. A lot of times I either do attach it to a carabiner on my pack or on my belt if I feel that they are good to go. And uh, with this one, it was no different. Uh, worked out well uh, with my uh, pit bull and uh, allowed me to be hands-free and continue on with my little mini adventure or accomplishing my mission. So bottom line, if you're in the market for a very well-built belt, whether you are using it for tactical applications or on-duty applications or not, take a look at these belts by uh, Click Belt. They come in various uh, sizes, colors. Uh, of course, this one's a three-ply. They come in one-ply, two-ply. So you'll definitely find something for your needs and uh, pretty much to satisfy any solution that you have when it comes to these types of belts. Once again, this is Helder. I hope that you found this review helpful.